Hi all campers and welcome to your 17th Vue.js tutorial and in this video I want to show you how to set up Vue projects using the Vue CLI. Okay then, so far in this series we've been setting up Vue.js by adding a script tag at the top of our HTML file which reference the Vue library from a CDN. We've also added another script which contains all of our Vue code. Now that's fine, if you want to do that that's absolutely fine for small projects or even some large projects if that's the way you like to work. However, I want to introduce a different way of setting up a Vue project now which involves using the Vue CLI. And CLI just stands for Command Line Interface, but do not let that put you off. It is really simple to set up and I'm going to walk you through every single step along the way. So then, why on earth am I going to want to set up a Vue project using this CLI? Well, it allows us to create a development environment workflow with Webpack. And that is really cool because straight out of the box, we can then use ES6 features. That is new JavaScript features such as import statements, which we're going to be using for the rest of this series. So that's really cool. Secondly, it's going to allow us to compile and minify our JavaScript into one single file. So instead of having separate JavaScripts for different sections of our web application, we can just compile and minify it all into one file, significantly reducing our loading speed. We can also use single file templates for different sections of our web application. And we're going to delve into that in much more detail later on. So just bear with me with that one. Um, it allows us to compile everything on our machine as well and not run in a browser to compile it before we see it. And also we're going to make use of a live reload development server. Now to install the Vue CLI, we're going to need a command line tool. Now you can use the one that's already installed on Windows, but I'm going to use CMD or Commander. Do not know how to pronounce this. Uh, it's really cool and free, so I implore you to download it as well. You can get that from cmd.net. Secondly, we're going to need to install Node.js because we're going to use NPM, the Node Package Manager, to install the Vue CLI. Okay, so just click on this button down here to install the version 6.10 or this one if you want the latest version, that's fine as well. Just go through the installation steps and that should install on your computer. By the way, if you don't know Node.js, don't worry, we're not going to be doing much Node.js at all. We're just installing this for NPM so we can install the Vue CLI. Okay, so install that. Then you want to open up your command line tool and to make sure you've got node installed on your computer you can type node hyphen v like that. You see it throws back this version number right here. If it doesn't then you've not got it installed. So once we've done that let's head now to the github repository for Vue CLI and I'm going to leave this link down below so you can read all about it. And you can see right here when the prerequisites are node.js and we've just installed that. And this is how you install something on NPM. We say NPM install, G means globally, and then Vue CLI is what we're installing, right? So this is gonna install the Vue CLI on our computer. So copy that and come to your command line tool again and paste it in, hit enter, and that's gonna install the Vue CLI. Okay, cool, so now we've installed the Vue CLI and we can use the Vue CLI now to create new Vue projects. Now the first thing I'm going to do is navigate into the directory where I want to create this project. So you can see already I'm in this directory. Now if you want to navigate to a directory you can say cd and then the name of the directory. And if you want to go up a directory you can say cd and that goes up. So just check this out. I'm in my websites at the minute. I'm going to click enter here. It's going to go up a level. If I say cd my website now it's going to go back into this directory. I'm also going to say CD recording because that's going to go into this recording folder where I want to create this project. Okay, so let's just check out now the Vue CLI GitHub and see how we create a new Vue CLI project. So this is how we use it. We say Vue, then init, and then the template name, which we want to use. I'm going to come over this in a minute. And then the project name. So first of all, the template name. It's one of these things down here, either Webpack, Webpack Simple, Browserify, Browserify Simple or Simple. We're going to use this Webpack Simple template, okay? So this is going to set up a Vue.js project using a simple Webpack configuration. You can read more about these if you want just by clicking on them. So we'd be saying Vue init Webpack hyphen simple, then the name of our project. So let's try that out. I'm going to say Vue 
init, and then it's webpack-simple, and then our project name. Now, our project name is going to be Vue.js-playlist. So if I click enter now, this is going to create that new project for me. Okay, so it's going to ask me a few different questions now. The first one is a project name. In brackets, this is the suggested one. That's absolutely fine. So I'm just going to click enter. Then the description, that's fine as well. And finally, the author. Okay, so just press enter again. Do you want to use SAS? No, not in this occasion. And that's going to create this project for us. Now it's saying to us to get started, we want to go into this directory first of all using CD. Then we're saying npm install to install all of the dependencies that we need. And then to run the project, we say npm run dev. So first of all, let's say CD Vue.js hyphen playlist. And then let's click enter. Then we'll say npm install. Okay, so that's all of the dependencies installed as well. Finally, it told us to run npm run dev. And this is going to spin up a local dev server now for us and serve our files. So you should see something like this pop up in a browser, which is some kind of placeholder project that they've created for us. That's what happens when we create a new project using Vue.js. So now let's have a look what happens in the file system. So what I'm going to do is open up now this Vue.js playlist it's created. And you can see all of these different files. First of all, this node modules folder, this just contains all of the dependencies. We don't really need to worry about this at all. Okay. These are the things we've just installed using the command line tool right here. Uh, second of all, we have this source folder, which is where all of our source code is going to go. We're going to look at that in the next tutorial. Uh, then we have a git ignore file, which is just going to ignore some files for us. And we have our index file, which is the file which is served up to us. Okay. You can see this div with an ID of app right here. This is going to be for our view instance, you know, where it controls a certain area of a web page. So all of this is being controlled now by the view instance. And we're going to take a look at that in the next tutorial. This right here, this is the JavaScript that is being served to us in the browser. So right here, this is the JavaScript, which is running all of this kind of application. And you might think, well, hang on, this is coming from the dist folder and then build JS, but I do not see that over here. And because we're running in development mode, all of this is happening behind the scenes. So it's not going to show here. But when we compile our files for production, we will get a folder, a distribution folder, which we can use to push to a server. OK, so right now this is just happening behind the scenes. So don't worry if you don't see it over here on the file listings. OK, next we have our package.json file, which contains information about our project, all of the different dependencies we have installed. And we also have a readme and a webpack.config.js file. And this webpack.config file is basically doing all of the bundling for us. It allows us to use um, ES6 features and things like that. OK. So there we go. That is how we create a new project using the Vue CLI. In the very next tutorial, what we're going to do is go into this source folder right here and take a look at these different files, which are the bones of our Vue application.